big day in Madison as President Biden makes a stop in the capital city. Good afternoon, I'm Lee Mills. We have live team coverage tonight of the president's landing and visit to the laborers training center in DeForest. We begin with Gabriella Rusk who listened to the president's speech this afternoon. Hey Lee, good afternoon. Where I'm standing here is actually where dozens of union workers and apprentices were standing just a few hours ago. And you can see here behind me, they're starting to tear down the podium where the president spoke to those members. So what did he really speak about? He focused on creating manufacturing jobs here in the state, touting the investments that his administration has done so far in the past two years while he's been president. He also spoke directly to the workers themselves, the telling them how he wants to grow the middle class and he wants to provide opportunities for them in their own backyard. They're good jobs, jobs you can raise a family on, and most don't require a college degree, jobs where people don't have to leave home in search of an opportunity. And I got a chance to speak with some of those union workers and apprentices after the president left and they tell me they were very excited. Many of them got a chance to take a selfie or shake his hand and they say that they were truly honored to host him here at the Lyuna Training Center in DeForest. They say he's welcome back anytime. For now live in DeForest, Gabriella Rusk, NBC 15 News. Gabriella, thank you. Our team coverage continues now with how the day started and also will end. Air Force One landing at Truax Field earlier today. NBC 15's Michelle Beck joins us now live from the Dane County Regional Airport. Hi, Lee. I've got Truax Field at the Dane County Regional Airport just to my left. And unlike his arrival to Madison here on this very field, the president's departure back to the White House, that's going to be closed off to the press, which means we won't be able to see him board Air Force One. However, let's take a look at these images earlier today. Media, some members of the public, as well as some local elected officials got to see the president step off of Air Force One onto the tarmac. Now, he was only on the ground for about uh, five minutes or actually six minutes to be exact, but Within that short window, he spoke with Patrick Miles. Of course, he is the chair of the Dane County Board of Supervisors. And he later told me his conversation with the president included some joking as well as some words of encouragement. We also watched the local leaders even take a selfie, much like Gabriella mentioned, with the president of the United States. Like we mentioned, we are at this time waiting for the president's departure. And we know from his schedule that departure uh, is set to be at around 5 o'clock. So just in the next hour or two, President Biden will be flying out to Joint Base Andrews, which will, um, that is where he will go to the White House from then on. It has been a very eventful day for us here in Madison, to say the very least. Live at the Dane County Regional Airport, Michelle Beck, NBC 15 News. Michelle, Gabriella, thank you. If you missed any of the speech, we have a full recap right now on NBC15.com. And we will have more coverage from one of our congressmen who was there today. That'll be later in this newscast.